My name is Ashton Colby. I am transgender and I'm also a yoga teacher. This short little guided video is gonna be a nice grounding exercise. When the world seems too much to handle, there's a few things that you can do in order to send your energy down, ground yourself, and come back in your body for whatever way feels safe to you. If you haven't already, I encourage you to subscribe because on this channel we talk about spirituality, we talk about being transgender, and not just the physical changes, but the emotional, spiritual, intellectual, all of that in order to not just transition, but like I said, thrive, thrive. So get comfortable, take a comfortable seat. You can lie down for this no matter what feels like it would serve you today. And just bring awareness to the lowest part of your body. Maybe it's the soles of your feet, maybe it's your ankles, whatever is touching the lowest part towards the ground, just bring awareness to it. Bring awareness to, let's say the soles of your feet. Wiggling the toes, spreading the toes, and notice any sensation in the soles of the feet. Are you wearing socks? Is it bare feet? Are you wearing shoes? Just, just notice any sensation there, not judging it, just becoming aware. And start by taking a few deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth, settling into the body. Eyes can be open or closed. I'll encourage you now to continue breathing deep in whatever way feels best to you in your body today. Not judging the breath, just really saying hello to the breath for whatever it is in your body right here, right now, today. And a simple grounding technique that I really like is closing the eyes or lowering the gaze and becoming aware of any internal sensations that are present and not judging them, just noticing like right now, it's, is there any sense of coolness or warmth or softness or maybe there's some tension and not trying to change any internal sensation that you feel just becoming aware of it. And then either lifting the gaze or opening the eyes and just to yourself naming a few things you see externally. So right now I see my guitar on the bed, I see the plant in the window, and I see a blue book on my table. And then again, bringing focus back to the soles of the feet maybe wiggling the toes, drawing the sensation back down, and doing all of this with a sense of curiosity, not judging any sensations that are present. And then bringing your awareness back into the breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, and allowing yourself to experience your breath in your body for whatever it is today. Just noticing, being curious, settling into whatever chair or wherever you're laying or sitting today. Maybe there's a taste in the mouth Maybe you notice a certain smell, or maybe not. Maybe there's nothing present. Maybe you notice no sensation. That's perfectly okay too. It's not about judging whether or not you notice these things. <laughs> it's just offering your sympathetic nervous system a focal point, an internal and an external focal point that is relatively neutral or at least you over time develop a skill to 
just be curious about and not judge any internal or external things that you experience because if we can create space in our life to just be present with what is in the moment, we open ourselves up then to relaxing into the present moment by letting our sympathetic nervous system, our fight or flight, our our rest and digest is our parasympathetic nervous system, but when we can control the breath and become aware of it or just notice the breath or send our focus to the breath, we let our sympathetic nervous system know, hey, there's no immediate danger right in this moment, but we allow then space for our parasympathetic nervous system, our rest and digest system to turn on and we then begin to self-regulate our internal sense of being, our internal emotional state of being. And as we continue to practice these little sensory exercises of really naming things we see, noticing sensations internally and externally, and then coming back, rounding through the breath, maybe even massaging the soles of the feet, we bring awareness back into the present moment in little ways and over time you can build and build and build. And meditation, I mean, that is a meditative exercise. You just meditated if you did this and even counted three breaths. So that's just a simple way that if I notice I'm not super present or I want to make sure that my sympathetic nervous system knows like, hey, it's okay, you can you can calm down. That's what I go for. So if you like this type of exercise, I'm sure I'm gonna do more on gendereuphoria.com spelled Y-O-U. I'm gonna be launching a free online course coming in 2019 and it's gonna go through spiritual, emotional relationships, uh, having a vision for your life beyond gender transition, not just thriving, pardon me, not just transitioning and surviving, but thriving. And so you can follow Gender Euphoria on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. It's just Ash and James Colby or Gender Euphoria spelled Y-O-U on Instagram. And I'll leave the link to all of that below. You can leave a comment. I read everything you you comment. I know a lot of you have been um, asking for more guided meditations. I love that and I want to serve in that way. So know that it's coming. I'm not going anywhere. More content to come. And until next time, stay awesome and know that joy and peace and relaxation and internal sense of wellness is your birthright. Have a great rest of your day.